Hi guys, this is Cheryl with Architect Destiny, where we're building dreams, making plans, and reaching goals. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel for another video. Um, today, we're going to be looking at my goals. Um, it is the end of the first week of February, and I am just getting around to um, getting into my planners and reviewing my progress from my January goals and then looking forward to um, maybe things I need to tweak or do differently or focus on more going into the month of February um, with regard to my goals. So we're going to be taking a look at both of my planners. This is my personal planner and this is my architect destiny planner. So um, if you're interested in that, then just keep watching. And I'm just going to jump right in. So we'll take a look at my personal planner first. And I'm just going to flip over to my goals. If you have not seen my 2021 goal planning video where I talk about how I manage my goals and track my goals in my Hobonichi, then I will link that up there in the cards for you so that you can go back and take a look at that. Um, if you just want to look at all the videos that I have filmed on um, goal planning, then all my videos are categorized into playlists and you can take a look at the goal planning playlist. So um, with that, I'm just going to give you kind of a quick review of how I have my goals set up in my planner. And um, then we'll kind of go into um, looking at my January goals and doing a bit of a review on those. So, um, yeah, as you can see here, these are my annual goals, my goals for the year of 2021. And I have them categorized um, myself, uh, my marriage, architect destiny, home and family finances and career. And then um, within the categories, or I should say each of the categories is color coded. And these, this color coding system for my goals is new for me. I wanted a way to be able to track how much focus I'm putting in each of my goal areas on a monthly basis and on a weekly basis. So I can take a look at any spread in my planner and um, as well as my habit trackers and I can see um, just how much focus I'm putting on my goal areas um, from the color coding. So that's kind of um, how I have set up my goals on an annual basis. Then this year I decided I would also break them down into, into more manageable chunks and do quarterly goals. So this is my quarterly goal spread. And I just went through and just kind of blocked out for the first quarter of the year things that I would like to accomplish. And I will do that each quarter um, and just bite off a little more, a little more, progress a little more, move a little closer to my end goal each quarter as I go through the year. And a real important of my goal a real important part of my goal planning process this year is going to be doing mid-month reviews and end-of-the-month reviews and then really making, you know, uh, soul-searching <laughs> um, assessment of, okay, is this something that's really important to me or is it not? Um, and if it's not, then it may be something that you know, I don't need to have as a goal right now. Maybe it's something I need to put on my someday list or just really, you know, be honest with myself and focus my attentions on those areas where I'm willing to put in the work and put in the energy and put in the focus and the discipline. So that's going to be new for me, um, not just kind of floating from month to month and writing goals, but really reviewing and assessing them um, mid-month and at the end of the month. So annual goals, quarterly goals, and then we flip over to my monthly goals. And so this, these are my goals for January. And as you can see, they are color coded to correspond to the various focus areas that I have. Um, my first goal was to read at least one book, to start intermittent fasting, 
to try Pilates as far as my workouts, work on my Amazon store. That's part of an architect destiny goal to complete our tax planner, to work on a planning and organization presentation that I'm doing in March, to work on a training module that I have for work where we're um, onboarding a new system. And so I had a lot of training that I needed to do for that, or initial training. There's got a lot more to come, but I call this module one training to drink um, 80 ounces of water per day. And f as far as our house and home and upkeep and home projects, I wanted to select some flooring for the kitchen. So, and then I, I shared with you um, this with you in my uh, previous goal planning video um, that I kind of set up some um, keys for success for myself, kind of blocking out when I would do um, the, the, the key habits that will make me successful for each goal, like what day of the week, what time of the day, you know, what time am I going to take rest and not be, you know, working on anything, trying to kind of set myself up for success. And I think that this worked. Um, it's a good premise. And I think if I really um, focus in on it more in the month of February, it will be even more helpful and you know, in my success and, reach, you know, progressing on my goals. Um, so as you can see, I came in mid-month on January the 16th and I reviewed my goals and wrote um, my feelings about my progress, areas where I'm proud of uh, what I had done to that point, and then other areas where I feel like you know, there are obstacles in my way that are keeping me from being able to reach this goal right now. It's not just, you know, a lack of effort on my part. There are legitimate obstacles. And so those things I have to take into account. I mean, that's just real life. So everything is not within my control. So if there are obstacles that are keeping me from being able to progress on my goal, then I made a note of that. Um, and if there are things that I just kind of like, you know, that just wasn't a non-starter for this month. Um, I was just honest with, with myself and just say, hey, I just wasn't focused on that. I didn't do it and just move on. So there's always next month. I still have 11 months to get my goals done. So I uh, am not excusing being disciplined or, or not being disciplined. That's not, you know, that's never an excuse. But I am saying, you know, it's not over. I'm not allowing certain goals um, that maybe I didn't make as much progress as I wanted to the first month of the year to make me feel like I failed at the whole goal. That's not, I mean, that's a Cheryl of the past, like many, many years ago. That is not Cheryl today. Um, I just know that it's not my last opportunity. And, you know, you just keep going. You just keep, you know, keep you know, renewing your perspective and saying, hey, you know, I've got 11 more months to 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 make it to my goal. I've got 10 more months or whatever. And you just do it. So um, that's a little bit of my soapbox on extending grace to yourself and just being realistic. But anyway, so let's just talk a little bit about my January goals, reading at least one book. Um, I have always loved reading, but, you know, I've just been for the last several several years and such a busy season of my life that I just got away from it. It's like when I had downtime at the end of the day, um, after, you know, I was home from work, I did house stuff, I cooked meals, I ran errands, I did whatever I had to do. I didn't want to do anything. I wanted to veg in front of the TV and then I wanted to go to sleep. <laughs> and that was just the, just the honest facts. Um, so I have returned to wanting to read um, as a way, number one, of personal development, number two, as a way to relax and wind down at the end of the day, and number three, as a way of not consuming so much TV in the evenings. Um, so I think the key to it is reading something that I really enjoy reading and something that I deem to be beneficial 
And so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm reading a book on the power of the subconscious mind. Um, did I finish the book in January? No, I didn't, but I put a huge dent in the book in January. So I feel like I gave myself not a full check mark, but kind of a slash because I did begin the book and my goal is to finish reading that book in the next week and to start reading a second book in February. Because as you can see, my goals for the first quarter is to read two books. So I'm, you know, I'm giving myself space to do that. So that's not, that's not one book a month. That's like one and a half books. That's like a book every six weeks. So that I feel like you know, that's not a lofty goal. I'm not even pretending it's a lofty goal, but it's where I'm starting. And I'm sure that as I get back into reading and back into the habit and make it a habit, and I am, you know, tracking uh, my reading in my habit tracker. I'll just flip over here. I am tracking my reading to read at least 30 minutes a day. And as you can see, it was very sporadic. I did not, you know, I didn't do great at it, but I did better than I have done in the past, and it's a start. And as you can see in February, um, the first week of February, I didn't do great either, but I've got the rest of the month, and so I'm just going to keep going. And my full expectation is that at the end of the quarter, I will have read two books. So going back over here to my goals, um, so I gave myself like a slash mark because I did not complete the first book. Um, starting intermittent fasting, that was just, as I wrote in my review, that was just a non-starter for January. And so far it's been a non-starter for February because I just haven't done it. Um, my husband and I are really talking about our nutrition and trying to um, just really, you know, have serious conversation around that and trying to set some goals for ourselves to eat more healthy and for me because I'm um, the primary cook in the family it needs to be like um, not a big hassle <laughs> to eat healthy I'll just put it that way because um, right now our youngest son is at home doing college online he'll be back on campus in March and so right now I'm just trying to feed two men in my house and so um, my son's a football player. He eats a lot of food. So I cook a lot of food. So, you know, my primary focus for the last few months has not been, you know, just trying to eat totally clean and totally healthy. It's just been, let's do the best we can being clean and healthy and let's just feed people. So, um, all that to say, <laughs> um, around the intermittent fasting, that's just not been a focus. I'm really trying to, um, come up with a good, healthy, feasible um, eating regimen and cooking regimen that I can stick to and that um, would be reasonable for me and my husband, just like on an ongoing basis. So yeah, I didn't start intermittent fasting here and I haven't started it so far yet this month. That's not to say that I won't, but I did not start at the beginning of the month. Try Pilates. I did not do that this month, but that does not mean I did not exercise. I did some elliptical, some exercising on my elliptical machine um, and walking and things like that. Didn't do as much of it as I thought that I would have, but I did move my body some this month. I need to be a lot more disciplined about that. I do want to look up some Pilates workouts that I can do at home, like some YouTube videos not quite up to trying to go out to a Pilates studio right now and just be in a room, a closed room with people that I don't know, but I would like to maybe find some YouTube videos. Work on my Amazon store. That is a huge win for me. I finally um, got it all up and running. There was something wrong with, with it that I could not fix myself, but I did call the help desk or chat, did a chat with the help desk and they got my email linked back to my page so that I can load items into my store. And I changed my banner and my logo, and it's beautiful, and I love it. If you've not been to my Amazon store, please check that out. There's a link to my store um, on my channel, like my 
channel page, my banner page. So, um, yeah, go check out my store. I think there's also, there's also a link in the description box down below. So plenty of ways to get to my store. Anyway, um, complete our tax planner. This is one of the things that I was mentioning that there's an obstacle in my way that was not just me not doing it. I have not by the end of January received all of my tax documents. So that is ongoing into February. So I've already moved over here, finished tax planner because I started it here. So again, I gave myself kind of a slash, not a full check mark. Work on my planning and organization presentation. I did do that. I made huge strides on that this month. I am in a really great place with that considering my presentation is not until March the 6th. So I gave myself a check mark for this, a check mark for my Amazon store, and I feel good about it. My um, Orion training for work, I did complete the first module, which included the reporting training and billing training. So I gave myself a big check mark there for my work training. The 80 ounces of water per day, I did not do a good job with hydrating last month. It was on and off, stop and go. I just um, did not do a good job with that. So I'm going to... Well, let me check my tracker and see how bad was it. <laughs> I may can give myself a half a slash. Let's see. Um, drinking my water. No, I'm just not even going to play with it here. I did not do a good job. I get an X for that. Um, select kitchen flooring. That was at the bottom of my list of things to do in the month of January, and it just didn't happen. So I um, am going to forward that to February and I'm just going to write that over here. Select kitchen flooring and I will kind of also give a little bit more explanation on that because this is a goal that we have for the first quarter of 2021 like by the spring we want to have our kitchen flooring replaced. So Admittedly, there just wasn't a huge sense of urgency about picking the flooring out this month. I wanted it on my radar. Um, it would have been great if I had been able to check that off, but it's not dire. You know, there's no dire situation because I wasn't, um, because I didn't get to that. So I have migrated that to my February goals. So I'm just going to come down here real quick and write some notes um, as a review of my January goals, and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so that's my end of the month review for January. I made it a point to pat myself on the back for the things that I am proud of doing in January and to kind of recommit myself to areas where I really did not place enough focus. And that would be physical fitness and my reading. When I say physical fitness, I mean um I didn't start the intermittent fasting, I did not exercise regularly, and I did not get in um, the amount of water daily that I know would be healthy for me to intake. So um, I kind of recommitted to making physical fitness more of a priority in February. So let's just kind of take another quick peek at my trackers again. And see how that corresponds to um, my goals. Um, I feel really good about um, my daily spiritual routine. There were some days that, um, as you can see, I did part of the routine and not the whole routine. And I did give myself half credit. For me, it's not all or nothing. Um, if I did part but not all, I kind of shaded half of the box 
and I said, hey, the other part I need to really focus on. And as you can see, toward the end of the month, I did kind of, you know, buckle down and really make sure I was kind of going through my whole um, daily spiritual routine in the mornings. Um, there's never really been any problem with me taking my meds. So my morning meds, I did that. My vitamins, I'm usually pretty good about that. Moving my body for 30 minutes a day. Like you, like I said, I just had to fess up about it. I didn't focus on it. And I took my Tombow marker and I just colored in these big, huge areas where I just did not do anything just so that it could just really stick out to me. Like Cheryl, you just really, you know, you did not focus on that. You just, whether it was just, you know, you were not motivated or you didn't have time or you were tired, whatever it might've been, you just didn't focus on that this month. And I wanted to just look at that and see that. Um, and as you can see in those areas where I had these big, you know, in this case, orange, uh, empty areas, I kind of came back the last week of the month and try to put a little bit more emphasis on that. Um, and then going into February, you know, I'm just going to continue to put emphasis. Um, so, yeah. Um, and as I said, physical fitness was not like a priority in the month of January. And it shows here on my tracker. Moving my body 30 minutes a day. Drinking enough water. Um, skin care. Um, like I said, my morning and evening meds are fine. Reading, I did not place enough emphasis on that. Um, relationship with my husband and focus on our marriage. I feel like I did a good job with this. Um, you know, it's kind of hard to track every time you're affirming and appreciative and supportive. And, you know, I try to make sure that um, there's some of that every single day. Um, but, you know, Sometimes you kind of find yourself just tracking those like extraordinary things and not just every little time you say, hey, honey, I appreciate you doing this or that, or you did a really great job on this or that. And you just don't think about it as being something to mark off on your tracker. But anyway, um, this in my tracker is just for me, just that everyday reminder, because I look at my tracker every day that that is something that's important to me. Architect Destiny, I am pleased with how much time I spent, whether it was filming a video, whether it was posting on Instagram, whether it was working on my Amazon store, um, whether it was working on a presentation. I'm really pleased with how much time I spent on Architect Destiny in the month of January. Um, and this is where I actually track my actual goals. And we'll look at this in just a second. But I did want to have in my personal planner just like a high level overview of how many days during the month did I do something on Architect Destiny. And I feel really good about this. So as you can see here, I did kind of a mid-month review on my habits even. And I just wrote some notes down here about you know, what, you know, what are those areas where I need to put more focus? Um, for instance, um, hydration. Um, I was using like a 16 ounce glass and my office, my home office is upstairs. So every time I have to go get more water, I have to go downstairs and come back up. And for me, that's kind of a deterrent for drinking water is that I have to keep running downstairs to fill up my glass. So what did I do? I got a big old 64 ounce jug and when I get my coffee in the morning, my second cup of coffee in the morning, I bring my jug of water upstairs with me so that I can drink my water. And as I started doing that, I started to have more success with drinking the water. So I just, um, I just kind of made some notes down here. What can I do to get this train back on the track? Um, with whatever habit that I was not doing well with. So that's going to be, that's part of that review and assessment and being honest with myself and making a game plan for improvement that I'm really going to be serious about this year. Um, so yeah, that's just kind of a review of my tracker. Um, let's look at my home tracker. Um, for January, um, and let's go back to my goals and I'll show you what I'm getting ready to do. On my goals, I wanted to establish monthly, quarterly home cleaning and maintenance tasks as a priority. So I have 
created this and I've already shown this before I think in my maybe my setup video maybe my goal planning video maybe both but I know you if you've seen my recent videos you've probably seen this these are my um this is my cleaning tracker and this is not like weekly things that need to be done like vacuum and dust and mop and clean bathrooms this is like other stuff like deep cleaning the kitchen cleaning out the fridge and the freezer cleaning the oven washing down the blinds cleaning the baseboards doing decluttering in all the different areas of the house um all of that washing windows all that kind of stuff um so i just kind of went through with my um my zig uh, clean dot markers N these colors mean nothing i just wanted to make it look cute and happy because i'm not a person who loves to clean so i wanted to make this spread look happy and cute that's the only um reason for all the colors they it's not color coded or anything like that um so i just went through and just kind of spaced out these um, periodic cleaning tasks and so for January, um, I had to, um, I had on my goals to declutter both of the master closets and I did that. These two are checked off. So I feel really good about that. Um, you'll notice down here, clean the laundry room. I didn't do that in January because I had not scheduled that out. There are a lot of these, some of these things I did not schedule out when I was going to do them. So I didn't actually put this dot right here until like the other night when I was going back through this tracker and scheduling out the things that I had not scheduled. So I was like, okay, so I didn't clean the laundry room out or deep clean the laundry room in January. I'll do it in April. I mean, it gets swept and stuff like that, like every week or so, but just like deep cleaning in there. I'll do once a quarter. Um, so I didn't do it in January, um, but this is going to be the schedule going forward. So anyway, that's by way of like explanation uh, or maybe I'll go back and do it because it's, you know, I didn't do it in January, but as part of my quarterly cleaning, I may go back and do it. It's a small laundry room. It's not a big deal. It won't take long, but anyway, um, so yeah, so this cleaning tracker I do have as one of my goals to make sure the deep cleaning and so forth gets done in my house and maintenance projects and things like that. So this is the cleaning tracker and this is kind of the recurring tra task or maintenance tracker. Um, so for January, we had power clean, power wash the house. That did happen. Um, February changed the air filters. We do that every quarter. My husband just did that today. So I've checked that off. So these things are helping me to track my progress with this goal of establishing um, these times where I do this deep cleaning and maintenance task for our house, our home. So there you go. That's a review of my trackers for January. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to move into my February planning and and see what we have. So I started um, working on my tax planner in January and the goal is to complete it in February. So I have already done a lot of work on that. I think we pretty much have all of the tax documents. It's just um, some of them still need to be scanned and uploaded to Tax Caddy so that our accountant can access them and do our tax return. So I'm going to do another chunk of that tomorrow of scanning and uploading. So that is on tap for February and I expect for our tax planner to be completed. My husband is working on um, adding up all of his uh, ministry expenses and things that we need to deduct for him. So he's got a part that he's working on. I've got a part that I'm working on, but the plan is to complete that um, in February. Start intermittent fasting. I did not start at the beginning of February, um, but the month is not over. So I do have this as a goal that this month I will wrap my, mount, my, my mind around um, nutrition and cooking and eating a, a more clean and eating in my 
my eight hour window from 12 to eight, which is what I had outlined here in my notes for success. So get on the ball, Cheryl, with the intermittent fasting. I do want to start reading another book. So I planned, as I said here, to finish reading book one um, this month and start reading another book. Um, and then select kitchen flooring. I have migrated that to here. And so that's going to be a goal for this month. And I really do need to do it this month because if we want to get our flooring redone first quarter, that means by the end of March. So we need to make a selection, purchase it, and then schedule someone to come and put it in for us. So let me go here and do my color coding. So that's yellow for home. Um, let's do for, um, I'm sorry, that's the wrong color. For my intermittent fasting, I'm going to put that as, um, as turquoise and so is reading. That's personal. Okay, so what else needs to be on tap for February? I need to finish the presentation for Heart of a Woman. And that's what HOW stands for. It's a woman's ministry. So I'm going to finish the planning and productivity planning an organization presentation and that is architect destiny so it gets the coral color in my color code this is my color code for my goals i keep it on the back of my um, page marker so that i always have access to it and you've seen this before so um, these are the color codes for my goals okay so anything else that needs to be migrated um I am going to, for my water, I think what is going to be more manageable for me is I'm going to say at least 64 ounces of water per day. And I'm saying that because um, my big jug... I don't know if you can, let's see if I can get it under here. This is my big jug. <laughs> it's 64 ounces. Um, so if I drink all of that, I don't have to run up and down the stairs with that. It's sitting right here on my desk. So if I drink all of that, I'm going to feel awesome about myself. So, and I've been having success with that so far in the month of February. So if I drink more, which you know, I try to make sure I drink this whole thing before dinner time, and then I'm going to get another glass of water for dinner. I really don't drink anything else but water and coffee. <laughs> so um, I always drink water with my meals. Um, so I'll have more water at dinner time. So I'm going to drink more than 64 ounces of water, but I really feel like I have to have at least 64 ounces of water. I think that's a good healthy amount for me to stay hydrated and I'm going to feel good about myself if I do that every day and anything above that is icing on the cake so I have all of the goals that need to be migrated from here to here and I'm going to take a peek back over to my quarterly goals and see what I might need to pull in Okay, my home cleaning task. Let's go ahead and look back over here. What do I have for February? I have my kitchen deep clean and cleaning the fridge and decluttering the kitchen and the pantry and the coffee maker. So I've got a bunch of stuff here, which I'm just going to group under kitchen deep clean. Um, and that's going to include all of these things in the month of February. So I'm going to put here... And once I do that, I will have met my goal for um, two to three home cleaning tasks for the quarter. And it's not even the end of the quarter. So I'm going to put kitchen deep clean. And I'm going to put a yellow dot for home. 
sun's going down on me, ladies and gentlemen, as you can tell, um, that it's getting a little darker and darker in here. Um, so I'm going to wrap this up in just a minute. Um, so this is what we have. Um, let's see if there's anything for here. Um, so a lot of these things are things that either my husband is responsible for or he and I both or somebody else. Most of these things are not just something that I'm responsible for. This is like what I'm responsible for, these deep cleaning tasks and decluttering. So that's all for the home front. And then I want to also put, um, let's see, I have... Um, finish the presentation. Um, what else? I was just thinking of something and I lost it. Um, I have finished the tax planner. Oh, exercise. I'm going to put move my body 30 minutes a day. Regardless of whether it's Pilates or a walk, or my elliptical machine. My goal is to move my body 30 minutes per day. Now, these are like overarching goals for um, the month. That doesn't mean that um, there aren't other things that are important, like... Um, you know, marriage related goals. Um, we are going to actually go on a trip this month. So that's kind of a big thing that is going to be for us. We're going, um, couples trip. I'll just put couple time and then put trip. So this is, um, a goal that we had, which is going to be purple. Purple is for marriage. So that's a goal that we have is to do more things together, whether it's shared activities. You know, we sit and do our planners together. Um, we just sit and have deep conversation about something, you know, like theology or um, different things, you know, the news, what's going on in the world, politics. Um, whether it's just sitting and watching a movie together or, um, yeah, so that's all part of our goal of putting intentional focus on our relationship. So I'm putting that as a goal and that's going to happen this month. Um, so yeah, there we go with our, um, February goals. I'm still looking to this, um, keys to success up here for February. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to write it again, but I will still be referring to this as my keys to success here. So, yeah, this is kind of, you know, where January ended up. Um, I can put on here another house task. I did declutter master closets. That was something I have been wanting to do for a long time. And I didn't put it as a goal, even though it was on my tracker, but it was a goal and I did complete it and I feel good about it. I don't know about you. I think that's a sign of a, a real like planner person is that you just write down something just so you can check it off because you already did it. <laughs> I do that. I'm just not even going to fake the funk about that. I do that because I'm like, hey, that's something I accomplished just because I didn't write it down. I'm writing it down now and then I'm going to check it off because I did it. And it's a record. Um, so it's, it's a, it's a, an accurate record of what happened in January. So that's kind of it for my February goals in my personal planner. Let's take a quick look at my um, architect destiny planner and I'll just flip to the goals. And this is the Wonderland 222, which is turning out to be a dream planner for architect destiny is working really well. Um, and these are my goals. I've set up quarterly goals. It has this beautiful quarterly section in here that has a calendar and then this little section over here where you can write your goals and notes and things like that. So 
January, um, I feel good about what I was able to do, um, especially with, and color coded here, the orange, it probably comes across a little red on the screen, but the orange is my presentation. The turquoise is um, the Amazon store. These color codes have nothing to do with my goals and my personal planner. These are just like um, things to help me be able to just look and say, okay, yeah, the orange is presentation. I can see what's what at a glance because I know what color is what. So the orange is the presentation planning presentation I'm doing in March, which is here. Um, and then the um, turquoise is the Amazon store. Purple is Patreon. I did a little... Um, demo webinar because I am thinking about starting a Patreon page. Um, YouTube is yellow. Um, this pink here is just holding this for our trip. Um, the lime green is Instagram. Um, and so that's kind of my color code right now. Um, and so I had goals of working on um, Amazon Influencers which is my Amazon page, reading materials, the operating agreement, just making sure I was on top of how things work and how, you know, the disclaimer um, that I need to set up on all of my social media and making sure I had all of that down pat. So I did do that. Um, watching videos on how to maximize Amazon Influencer. I did not um, do a lot of that this month, so I have migrated that. I spent a lot of time working on my presentation, um, so I did um, mark that here that I did start on it, and I spent a good bit of time on it. Uh, create a banner for my YouTube videos. I migrated that to February, and I, I actually did complete it in January, so I made a note down here that I completed that in January. So I had thought that I wasn't going to get to it, but one day I just felt really inspired, and I just sat down and spent hours working on you know you know in canva looking for backgrounds and putting things together and so i now have a new youtube banner and a new amazon store banner and a new logo for architect destiny that i really am excited about and happy with so that has already been checked off for february because i actually did do it in january which was my original intent um, I had put for February to create a link tree on my Instagram. I actually did that in January, which I wrote in red. That was that day that I just got really inspired and I just sat on my computer and I just did a bunch of stuff. Um, so yeah, I did that. Um, the thing that I wanted to do in January that I didn't was like just kind of brainstorm more video content ideas, different types of videos that I can do. And that's not something that is like of utmost urgency that needed to be done in January, so that's not an issue. Um, I will get to it. I put it down for February. I put down finishing my presentation. I put down um, working on promoting my Amazon store and watching more videos on Amazon influencers and uh, completing some courses in the YouTube Creator Academy. So those are kind of the goals that I have for February. And I'm just kind of blocking out my time over here on the calendar. I can see I'm spending a lot of time on my presentation this month because I want to finish it in plenty of time before the presentation date. Then I've blocked out a good bit of time to work on Amazon Influencers and my store. Um, February is kind of a short month. Um, so I did not put any additional time to work on YouTube or Instagram um, over and above things that I've already done as far as creating new banners and things like that. Um, I did sit down and um, put all of my videos into um, playlists, which I'm really excited about. I need to write that down. I can't remember when I did that. It might have been, that might have actually been this month. Create YouTube playlists. Actually, let's see. Um, yeah, that was this month, and I have already done that, so I can check that off. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of what um, February is looking like for Architect Destiny. Um, I have 
kind of been reasonable with myself here that Thursdays typically are busy for me in the evenings with other meetings, whether it's like church related meetings or an organized charitable organization that I'm on the board of directors. The meetings are typically on Thursdays. Bible study is every other week on Thursday nights. So I'm just not planning to do anything on Thursday nights. Friday's my rest day. After I clock out from work, I am done. I'm going to be relaxing on Friday nights, so I'm not even scheduling anything else. Saturday is a flex day. If I find Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which are the days that I have set out to work on Architect Destiny, other than Instagram posts and filming YouTube videos, I film on Sundays, typically, and I post um, on Instagram on Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes on Saturdays, not every Saturday. So um, this is the time during the week where I am working on Architect Destiny stuff. This is my busy night. This is my rest night. This is my flex day to catch up if I don't get done what I want to get done the first part of the week. And then this is my filming day. So that's just kind of how I've got everything set out for February. Um, over here, I kind of wrote down some goals for February. Create a YouTube banner. I already did that. Uh, do YouTube creator courses. Monetize my YouTube channel. Uh, finish the um, planning presentation for Heart of a Woman. Read Getting Things Done. And start to incorporate some of those principles into my videos. So these are kind of my notes that um, of my goals for February. And this is kind of how I have blocked out my time to get those done. And then as you can see, I've already kind of got my content planner going here. Um, Instagram posts on Tuesdays and Thursdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Um, filming. If I have a video that I need to prep for, um, then I will do it the day before, like this one. So I am filming this video right now. So I can check that off. And I had to prep for it in advance because this is not just to sit down and plan with me. I did um, post my week on Instagram. I did respond to YouTube comments. Yay. Okay. I just need to figure out when I'm going to post a flip of my Jan uh, January pages in my planner. So I've got that there. Um, so yeah, this is my content planner for February. And so that is how we've got, let me get this set back where I had it. This is my tracker for, for February as well. So I've kind of got these clipped together so I can flip between them. Um, yeah, so those are my goals for February in my personal planner and my architect destiny planner and I hope that was helpful to you to kind of see my process of how I review the prior month's um, performance as far as my goals, kind of reset myself um, and get a game plan for areas where I kind of didn't measure up to what I wanted to do. And going into the next month, what am I going to do differently? How am I going to set myself up for success? Actually block out intentional time to work on um, goals such as Architect Destiny. I have days of the week in the evenings where I have blocked out what I'm gonna work on and then how I utilize my trackers to help me stay on top of monitoring my progress on my personal goals. So I hope that was helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's very helpful for me. If you are a functional planner you and you enjoy my content and you get inspiration from it, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So that's it for today, guys and gals. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for tuning into my channel. For those of you who are subscribers, thank you for being a part of my YouTube family. I appreciate you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.